Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have the High Priestess listening to your intuition here with renewal. So judgment, review, and evaluate. Someone's had a sudden uh, epiphany here, a revelation uh, on something that they didn't realize in the past. Okay, this feels like a lot of fresh energy, a new cycle as well. Conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice with reveal. I want to tell you the truth. Someone is craving communication here and uh, to finally uh, reveal something. Overall energy, Hierophant. This is about doing the right thing, what is expected of us as well as commitment here. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your energy this week. We have Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So there are things, you're getting this gut feeling this week. And Spirit's saying to listen to your intuition. This can be in regards to your job, uh, finances here, or your love life. Whatever it is, just make sure that you listen to that gut instinct, your intuition, because it will not steer you wrong. It's showing if you do follow your intuition here, that things are going to start turning uh, in your favor where you will feel like uh, finally you're seeing the results of uh, effort that you've put into something. Okay, so if you felt very disappointed or rejected here, very stressed out in the past uh, this will be removed okay but you have to listen to your intuition it's showing me because something's coming towards you uh, that is quite a surprise okay like a gift here from the universe ten of cups ace of swords and the six of wands for their energy this person is really uh, antsy they want to reveal something speak their truth and it's about their feelings as well as their ego so they realize that they tipped the scales too much here when it comes to being fair and balanced and they've definitely been living breathing in their ego they have not been addressing matters of the heart and they've been suppressing their feelings here for a long time some of the ace of swords king of wands we have judgment again and tower this has become overwhelming for them so what you don't see behind the scenes here is this person is gearing up to do something to do something very drastic okay so let's see what's happened in the past oh my goodness sagittarius I've not seen this for you in a long time. Six of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. This person is a soul tie here, feels like a soulmate. For some of you, can be Twin Flame. Uh, I see that this is an intense connection. The chemistry is unbreakable. It feels like both of you keep getting drawn back to each other. And from the very beginning, it does look like you both were on the same page. You really felt as if, okay, this is my person. I finally found it in this lifetime. And they felt the same way towards you. But I see that it stayed stuck in first gear. It never really progressed uh, to anything more and that ace of cups with the two was supposed to turn into the three things were supposed to become stronger this bond was supposed to become deeper as well and this person feels like you got them on every level and wasn't really willing to uh, enjoy it or really embrace this connection. It's something that uh, they feared. They didn't realize they would find somebody they felt so intensely for. And it spooked them in a way. Tell me the Six of Cups. King of Cups. Oh my goodness. And the Page of Wands. Yeah. So it's, it's just showing me that this person's core issue is that they do not like dealing with heavy emotions or anything too difficult that causes drama or something that uh, is going to alter their life in any way. And you came out as a surprise. It's like, poof, here you are. And they were not expecting this, nor did some of them believe in a love like this, okay? So 
they acted towards you as in one foot in, one foot out. They weren't really willing to uh, put effort in, but they were certainly not willing to give you up. So they would dip their toes in every once in a while because they couldn't stay away for too, too long. Uh, they felt this intense feeling for you. Okay, tell us this page of wands. Wow. Seven of wands. King of Pentacles, yeah, for some of them, they felt like they need to focus on, you know, stability, a job here, or finances versus love. This came at the wrong time. I don't know. I, If I really give energy to it, will my finances suffer or will, you know, my whole world come crashing, crashing down? This is like this uh, debating that they would do in their head. Okay, so let's see the challenge here. Somebody wants to come forward and fast. These cards are so jumpy. Okay, we have four of pentacles, four of swords, and the five of swords. Okay, so they definitely played some mind games here because they did not want you to catch on to the fact that they really were deeply in love with you. They were okay in the beginning, but then they stopped themselves. They're like thinking in their head uh, too much going, no, 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 this doesn't happen to me. I can't do this. I can't allow myself to just follow my heart and let my emotions take control. That's not going to happen. And so they were very confused here and spent a lot of time detaching or running away from this connection especially holding back. It almost looks like they put a lock and key on their heart here. Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Five of Swords. They did this on purpose. They didn't want you to get too, too close to them. In fear of uh, something not working out the way that they hope or them getting hurt. You really did take them by surprise here, uh, Sagittarius, where they didn't realize a deep love like this existed. Page of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords, I'm mean, sorry, Five of Wands. This person purposely caused problems or arguments here, okay? Things that really didn't need to be argued or, you know, make uh, dramatics out of something that was so minor. And they did this on purpose to kind of ruffle your feathers, keep you at bay, not get too close to them because they felt like when they would communicate with you, the only thing that they were thinking was just, okay, you're, I'm yours. I, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Like these are the things that they were wanting to reveal and feeling, but they stopped themselves. So I see a lot of inner conflict going on at the same time, manipulating you emotionally by playing some mind games here to make you, you know, upset or ruffle your feathers in a way to think that they're upset uh, so that things kind of stay at a standstill. Nothing ever really keeps moving forward past a certain point. Uh, tell me about the Four of Pentacles. They're basically controlling the Wheel of Fortune. They want things to turn out the way that they want. Uh, sun card here, yeah. So it turned into a really negative situation. I see something so beautiful and positive that has the, the potential to be something like supernaturally amazing and turn it into something that feels so draining and negative. And it's because they choked the energy. They definitely took control of the situation and they were guiding it towards the direction of their own feelings. And it left you feeling stressed out and very rejected here. I see that it was hard for some of you to deal with this, you know, kind of pain that you had some nights where it was really hard to sleep here, Nine of Swords. Uh, as well as always keeping your thoughts or your mind uh, confined to those things, right? So you didn't really have answers, so you're constantly overanalyzing here. All right, so let's see what they do, what action they take. The moon, three of wands. King of Swords, get ready. The truth is coming out. Uh, things are coming fast, okay? This can be kind of unexpected as well, but everything that was hidden in the dark is now coming to light. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward. I'm very interested in this and the timing as well as the outcome. But if this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys as always, and I'll see you next time.